Hi everyone! Today I will show how SciRequest can handle responses from a server that are not 200. First, here's a request to get a to-do item from the server. As you can see it succeeds, it shows in the command log 200 status code. If we open the DevTools and click on the request object, we can see that it yields something that contains the status 200, duration headers and the body of a to-do. Excellent! What happens if we request something that doesn't exist, right? For example, we'll enter an invalid ID. Well, we get a fail command because the server responds with 404. And by default, a status code that's not 200 fails side request. So if we want to be able to request something that we know might not exist, we have to switch to the options way of calling side request and then say, um, what's that, uh, fail on status code. And by default, it's true, so we will disable the built-in check by using fail on status code false. And now notice the request has failed, so it shows 404. Now we can confirm the properties of the request. If we know that it's supposed to fail, we can confirm that you know the status is 404, maybe that response is an empty object. So let's do this. So should have property, for example, status 404. Right? Now, if you want to confirm the body, well, we just got the property, so it already yields the property. If you want to confirm multiple things, then we can say, okay, give me the whole response object, just like what we printed in the DevTools. We expect response status to equal 404. We expect response body to deep equal an empty object. So now, if the request fails, we know that we're getting 404, we're getting an empty object, so we're verifying a resource returned by the server when it returns 404.